on the city of Hoover's plan to address missed trash pickups. As we told you last night, the city is buying a garbage truck from Alabaster for about $70,000, but some say the contractor and waste should be held accountable. WBRC's Josh Gant live in studio tonight with more on this plan, Josh. Yeah, Brittany Steve, City Administrator King Grimes says running a consistent route to pick up trash should not be this hard, but it continues to happen. That's why the city decided to buy this truck to try and get a handle on this issue that's having a big impact on on residents. This is the garbage truck Hoover just purchased for $70,000 from the city of Alabaster. City leader is hoping it will help with the ongoing trash issues. The city will use the truck for missed pickups from Amwaste. Since late March, residents have reported nearly 2,700 missed pickups since Amway's changed routes and pickup days, according to city manager Ken Grimes. More than 400 reports in the last three weeks alone. This is a logistical contractor that should have this figured out by now. This is a route management issue. Grimes says the garbage truck they now own is big enough to pick up trash from multiple neighborhoods without having to make a trip to the landfill. But some residents question why Hoover should have to pay for someone else's mistake. $70,000 equals one police officer, it equals one fireman, it equals one teacher that we don't have right now, that we could use. Grimes says face-to-face -face meetings with Amwaste aren't producing results. Some city council members say Amwaste needs to be held accountable. Grimes says the city is adding up costs with missed pickups, trucks, fuel, tipping fees, and more, and deduct them from what the city pays and waste. For us, the answer is anything that we've used public money, we're just going to hold that off the bill, so credit, and that's going to be at least back in our coffers from the taxpayer side. Um, and it's, it's going to be extensive. The best way you can report missed pickups is through the city of Hoover's app. Now we are still waiting to hear back from Ann Waste. There is a meeting tomorrow with the Cahaba Solid Waste Disposal Authority. That's who Hoover contracts with Ann Waste through. We'll have a crew there and we will let you know what happens. Brittany. Thanks, Josh.